hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this testimonials page to your blogger website now we have been designing this in the previous videos and uh, this is how it looks we can see that we have this list of logos over here and if you scroll down we have two testimonials displayed over here with the videos and then here we can see that we have this show more button and if i click on that we have two more testimonials displayed over here and then if i click on the show more button again we have the last testimonial displayed over here and after that the show more button is hidden and then lastly we have this section over here for this call to action now this is basically what we're going to add into our blogger website in this video now if you want to learn how to design this from scratch you can watch the previous videos i will leave the link in the description of this video and i will also leave the link of the source code in the description so let's get started <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, for the theme I'm using this theme called Contemplate which comes by default with blogger. Now to add this testimonials page let's create a new page in our blogger website. So let's go over here to pages and uh, let's click on new page and I'll just name the page testimonials. And the next thing you need to do is change this into the HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. I'll just create a style tag over here. And in this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go to our source code. And let's go to the style.css file. And uh, let's copy all this CSS from here. And let's paste it over here inside the style tag. And the next thing we need to do is add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML file. And let's copy all this HTML from here. So we'll copy from this line of code till here. And let's paste it over here. And then lastly, we need to add the JavaScript. So I'll just create a script tag for that. And in the script tag, we will add the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this uh, JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here. Now, if we go back to our code, here we can see that we have the video URL over here and the review, the name, and the designation for all these testimonials. So you can go ahead and change the details over here in this JavaScript array. And if you go to the HTML file, here we can see that we have added these images for the logos. So you can change these logos to whatever you want. And then here we have the heading and the text for the show more button. So you can go ahead and change these to whatever you want. All right now, let's go back to our blogger page and we need to make some changes over here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to change the links of all these images over here. So right now, the images are inside images forward slash and the image name but we don't have this folder called images in our blogger website so we need to upload the image somewhere and then get the link and paste it over here so i will use a service called cloudinary for that so you can just create a free account on cloudinary.com and log into the account and just go to media library and here we can add our uh, images and videos now to keep everything organized let's go over here to folders and uh, let's create folders for the logos and the videos so let's create a new folder over here so i'll just click on new folder and let's name it logos and let's click on save and here we have this logos folder so let's go into the folder and now let's go ahead and upload our logos over here so let's click on upload and browse right here we have all the logos for our design so i'll just select all of these and let's click on open and here we can see all the logos are being uploaded. Now we can see all the logos have been uploaded and we can just go ahead and copy the link and paste it in our code. But before that, let's go ahead and also upload the videos. So let's go back to folders and let's create a new folder called videos. And let's click on save. And now we can see that our videos folder has been created. So let's go into the folder and let's click on upload and browse. And now here we can see these are all the videos that we need for our testimonials. So let's select all of these and let's click on open. And here we can see all the videos are being uploaded.
Right, so all the videos have been uploaded. So let's go ahead and copy the links and paste it into our code. So first of all, let's copy the links of these uh, videos. So here we have testimonial one. So I'll just copy the link of this uh, video. You can just click on this uh, button called copy URL. And now we can see it is copied. So let's go back to our blogger page. And uh, here let's go to this data array. And here instead of this video URL, I'll just paste the updated video URL. So I'll just cut this from here and paste the new URL. And let's do the same for all the other videos. So I'll just copy the second one from here. So this is the second one. And let's paste it over here for the second video. And let's do it for the third video. And uh, let's copy the fourth video. And then lastly, we have the fifth video. All right, that's it with all the videos. Now let's go ahead and copy the links of these images. So let's go back to the main folder and uh, let's go over here to logos and let's copy the links of all these logos. So I'll just copy Spotify logo and uh, here we have the Spotify logo. So I'll just uh, update this and I'll just quickly go ahead and do all of these. All right, I have updated all the links and uh, let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm. And here we can see our page has been published. Let's click on view. And here we can see that everything is being displayed over here. And let's click on this uh, video. And the video is also being played. So we don't have any problems. Let's click on show more. And we can see that more videos are being shown. And uh, here we have the last testimonial. And then lastly, we have this section right here. Let's also check whether this is responsive. So I'll just decrease the width of the browser window. And we can see that it is completely responsive. So we don't have any problems in this. Now the only thing we need to fix is the color of this text. So for that, let's go back to our page. And let's go to the CSS. And here I'll just type color and I'll just set the color of all the text to black. And let's click on update. And let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we don't have any problems and everything looks all right. So that's basically how you can add a custom testimonials page to your blogger website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.